Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Fallout 2, a post-nuclear role-playing game. Let's get that off. Let's get that right right off the bat. Um, nuclear. Nuclear, not nuclear. Nuclear is the wrong one, but I barely ever even say that, so I don't even need to con correct myself at this point. I'm just always scared because everybody's always correcting you on YouTube. But, um, yeah, nuclear. Okay, in the last episode, we made it to Klamath. Klamath? Klamath? And, uh, yeah, the overall plot here, the overall, uh, goal here is trying to get the Gek, the Garden of Eden creation kit, to save our tribe. And there is actually a time limit, so we can't... One of the tips that I read was that, um, yeah, you can't, uh, you can't explore as much as you want. Um, I don't know if it's like the first game in which you could, uh, extend the time by doing something, I forget exactly what. You could extend the time, though... I don't know if it's like that, um, and I hope that it is, because I really don't like games where there's a time limit, but I'll look past it for certain games, especially like Pikmin, which I love so much, and uh, Majora's Mask. Uh, I just, I still wish that it didn't have a time limit, though. Let's go ahead and, in fact, wait until daytime to explore Klamath, or maybe we'll talk to this guy first. You see a sickly man dressed in very dirty robes. Hello there, I haven't seen you in Klamath before. Klamath. Klamath. I'm just going to call it Klamath. I'm Ido. Aldo. The town greeter. Hick. It's my job to greet anyone new in town and to answer any questions they might have about our uh, bucolic little burg. Welcome to Klamath. Klamath. Uh, whatever. Klamath. Hick. Who might you be? Okay. So again, we're playing a nice character. We're going to be using some speech here. We just want to save our village. That's all we want to do. We want to save the people in our village. Um... We could be totally mean. Very, very, very mean. My name's Autin. Thanks for welcoming uh, me here. Well, friend Autin, since you're new to these hick parts and look as though you could use ugh, some pointers, I'll let you know that it's customary to tip the town greeter before asking any questions and such. Yeah, that's not happening. Sorry, I can't spare any money for you. Thanks for nothing. I hope you don't stand in, stay in town too long. We don't like your kind here. Need your kind here. <laughs> Tribals. They're all the same. How can you tell I'm a tribal? Well, probably by our, by our dialect. Um, how do we wait? Oh, we do have the Pip-Boy now. I, I don't think I realized that last time. Let's wait. This is the, seriously the same exact thing as Fallout 2. I mean, they literally must have just copied over the engine. Um, let's wait until morning. Probably not a good idea to spend some of our time, but I really want it to be light out, you know, so that I can actually see what I'm doing here. We, we maybe should have actually paid this guy because I would like some information here. We're looking for the Gek. I know that you couldn't spare any money for the official town greeter earlier, but perhaps <gasps> I should do this guy's voice in, uh, as, uh, as Rick. I know that you can't spare. Oh, man, it's been forever since I've actually watched Rick and Morty. Never mind. That was a mistake. But perhaps <gasps> this time you are feeling more generous and are ready to be greeted officially to Klamath. Uh, we could spend five dollars to keep you off my back here's five dollars i'm ready to be greeted no thanks i don't need your official greeting i think i'd rather have your insides greet my blade um i don't know yeah why not i maybe maybe we think that this will actually go somewhere so here you go thanks for the money friend <clears throat> we're gonna use it to get some medicine for my dry throat yeah sure you are consider yourself officially <clears throat> greeted to the town of klamath do you have any questions about Art Fair <laughs> Metropolis. I do. Yes. Um, Aldo, I'm looking for a trader that sells before time things. You know, really old stuff. Old stuff, huh? <laughs> well, the only <laughs> trader I know who trades much stuff is <laughs> Vic. Vic? Where can I find this Vic? Well, now, <laughs> I haven't seen Vic for a while. I don't rightly <laughs> know where he might have run off to. You might talk to <laughs> Jenny over at the bathhouse. She and Vic were pretty <laughs> thick. <laughs> Get it? Oh my, I haven't lost my touch. <laughs> you guys really need to read some of these because, I mean, honestly, yeah, the, the humor really does come out in spades. It's nice to know that no matter how low you sink, you can't lose something you never had. Let me risk asking you something else. Thankfully, you're one of a kind. Uh, Aldo, I guess that's all I need to know. I'm certain that your generosity to someone as needful as myself <laughs> will bring you good luck. I hope to see you again soon. Um, he said the bathhouse, yeah? Hey there, friend. Good to see you again. Can you spare some money for a bit of a, for a bit of medicine? My throat is getting drier and scratchier. Hick, all the time. I could even throw in another official greeting. Uh, no, that's all good. 
I think you've had enough medicine. You should sweat out that poison in your system with some hard work. Thanks for nothing. How can you be so cruel to someone as well, unwell as myself, damn tribals? Aldo spits on the ground at your feet, dribbling a bit on his scruffy chin. Okay, we're done with Aldo for now. Uh, we can get our first gun in this area, I know that. We'll, we'll have to search for it. Uh, you see a very large man covered in dust with a small smile and a blank look on his face. Me, Tor. Is he saying that? I guess. Nice to meet you, nice, nice to meet you Tor. Anything interesting happening here lately? Bugmen take moo moos at night. Tor scared. Help, Tor? Uh, sure, Tor. I can help you guard the Brahmin. You help, you hep, Tor, moo moos field. Points east of here. Now, yes, smiles. Looks like this guy has one intelligence. Uh, here's the Brahmin over here that I'm sure he's talking about. Uh, I'll help you guard the Brahmin now, Tor. I don't know if that's smart, actually. We should probably get the gun first, but, uh, sure. Oh, this is really not smart, I don't think. Okay, if it's just scorpions, we'll be fine, though. Uh, we've dealt with scorpions before. And we have more than a 45% chance, finally, thank God. We're still gonna miss a lot, because seriously, my luck is freaking terrible. Okay, let's take out this scorpion here. Come on, dude. Thank you. All right, let's end combat. Let's end combat. Guess I have to, like, click. I swear to God, there was a button to end that. I'm sure there is. For defeating your enemies, you're in 60 experience points. Let's loot the scorpion. He's got a, another scorpion tail that's going to weigh quite a lot, so we're not going to take it. Let's talk to Tor. Tor like Austin. Tor think. Bugmen bad. No let Bugmen eat Moo Moos. I hope we can put a stop to these things attacking your Moo Moos. Uh, I mean... Brahmin. I don't think anything would attack with both of us here. Is that it? I don't know if that's it or not. Um, I don't even know where the hell we are. And who are these people? You see one of the two very similar... You see one of two very similar looking men. They could be twins. Both are heavily muscled and have beating... Beetling brows? Don't know what that means. Let's go talk to him. What the heck are you doing here? You here to help us or not? We might have a job for you if you're interested. Where the heck am I? I don't even know where I am. Um, yeah, I'm interested. Tell me about this job. Well, there's one thing that we could use some help with. <laughs> uh, what's that? Okay, here's the deal. We need some help in uh, liberating some Brahmin from that idiot Tor. You can try to talk him out of the Brahmin or knock him out. Just don't hurt him too bad or it'll stir up a ruckus. I mean, do we have to do it this way? I don't think I want to do that after all. Word to the wise, you just better not say nothing to nobody. Because if you do, because if and you do, that would make us very angry. You don't want to see us angry. Don't want to see you angry. I don't want to see your ugly mugs at all. Goodbye. Okay. So I don't know if we should kill these people or report them or what. Uh, looks like they say the exact same thing. Let's go back and talk to Tor. So these guys want us to... Be very mean to poor Tor, who's just literally trying to save his own Brahmin. Um, we are not going to do that. What we are going to do is come down here and check this shed and see if there's anything inside that we can loot. This shed looks mighty searchable, if you ask me. And what do we have in here? What is that? Rad scorpion limbs? Okay, so with this game and with Fallout 2, or with Fallout 1, you actually have to look on the ground for certain things like like this, yeah, like these rad scorpion limbs. Um, if you hover over it, uh, hover over it, it glows, and that means that you can pick it up. What is this? Meat jerky. Don't mind if I do. Let's take all. Okay, uh, anything else in here? I saw some beer bottles on the ground, but it doesn't look like we can actually interact with them. What is this thing in the corner here? Table? Let's take these rad scorpion limbs. Um, hopefully, don't, they don't weigh too much, but I don't think there was any such item in the first game, so it sounds a little unique to me. Let's go talk to Tor. I don't know what we should... Oh, there's more scorpions here. Okay, maybe that's what it was. Well, let's clear out all the scorpions then. Okay, the rad scorpion missed. Hopefully... Ooh, one hit. Looks like that one had 11 hit points. There are a lot here, though. Uh, in fact, can we end combat? We want to end combat because we want to restart with as much, like, AP as we possibly can. We were hit for two points and poisoned. That's okay. As long as we can get a hit, dude. Oh, come on now. 
ridiculous. Again, it's over half. Whatever. I'm not going to start this Let's Play by complaining about the... I mean, I already did, of course, but... Yeah, it, it is what it is. It's, you know, it's the same thing as Morrowind, where you just miss, like, pretty much every single hit. And, um, I don't know. I don't know if, if it really is 50% or whatever, because it definitely does not seem like that. It definitely seems way less. But, as I've said, my actual luck is god-awful. Okay, let's say over that. Oh my god, there's a lot. Okay, there's... If we get... Man, I could really use a gun. Or throw the, the spear, I guess. Oh my gosh, there's four? Alright, well, let's try to take them on one by one, then. And just hope that luck's on our side. It's not really, because our, we got poisoned again. We're missing. Okay, at least we killed that one in one shot, though. Jesus. Alright, let's end combat. Something's actually on me right now. It's this one over here. Alright, let's try to kill him without him killing me. Please run out of AP. Thank you. Okay, get a little bit closer. Come on, dude. It's over 50%. This is totally ridiculous. Ah, oh, Jesus. We are really getting messed up here. Okay, come on. Come on. This is going to be incredibly frustrating. And we're about to die, and we're like mega poisoned now. Yeah, and we're just missing almost every single 50%. Ugh, old games, dude. How fun. Okay. Yeah, I like the overall game. It's just like, again, the percentage. But whatever. That's the last time I'm going to talk about that. There's no point. You guys know my opinions on it. I don't think we have any... Um... Yeah, we have no more antidote, but we do have healing powder. Okay, let's use a couple of these, but we're really going to need to find an antidote. Um, yeah, we're like mega poisoned right now. I mean, these guys aren't going to have antidotes, are they? Uh, you should be able to make an antidote with their tail, so that's something. But I don't know who would be able to do that. Okay, so let's just play it safe. That's 57%. So, yes. Okay, thank God. Thank you for finally playing out as it should with a 57% chance to hit. Uh, the only thing I'm worried about here is that we are very much poisoned. Very much poisoned. Let's waste our turn um, so that he'll come to us. Oh. It's not even aggroed onto me. Okay. I don't know if getting behind him matters whatsoever. Looks like, yeah, see, that was probably a mistake because we let him basically attack us first. Still 56%. Okay, come on, kill him. Thank you. All right. All right. You killed all the rad scorpions that were threatening the Brahmin. Wonderful. And if we loot them, they're just going to have tails. I don't think they can have anything else. Um, the tails in the first game uh, did allow you to make antidotes, but they seem to weigh quite a lot. Okay, we earned 60 experience points. And, okay, let's go talk to Tor. And those two guys are gone now. Those two guys have dipped out. Hello, Tor. Bugs dead. Mumu safe. Tor, thank you. You see a very large man? Yeah. Um, do I mean, do we get anything? Doesn't look like we actually got anything for this quest, so maybe we have to leave first? Because Tor is not talking to me anymore. Uh, so, the only place that we can leave, I think, is this down here. Yeah, um, I've learned from, you know, I'm always trying to improve as a content creator, and I've learned from, from my past mistakes is, uh, you know, stop harping on something so much, right? And part of that is the percentages. So I just have to really tell myself to not do that because it is incredibly frustrating, uh, it telling me that I have an over 50% chance to hit, yet I'm failing, like, you know, three quarters of all of my hits. Uh, and I don't, again, I don't know if that's my own luck, which is notoriously, historically terrible, or... If it's some other thing, like it's if it's actually lower than 50%, which I feel like is more the case. Anyways, um, we're poisoned. And uh, you've successfully protected the Brahmin. You gained 250 experience points. Honestly, was that even worth it for how much damage we took? I don't know. Let's open this wooden door and see what's in this little shack. A couple of toilets here. So this is the bathroom. Can't seem to interact with them at all. All right, let's move on. So we're looking for the bathhouse, but also some sort of merchant to be able to buy some antidote. That would be wonderful. Uh, let's open this thing up if we can. No. We've got a doggy here. Mangy, buff, colored dog with a feral look to it. Hi. Gur, wolf, wolf, gur. You're just hungry. Aren't you, boy? Let me see if I have some delicious dry meat to give you. Wolf, the mongrel, happily accepts the yummy dry, uh, dry meat. 
dropping a key that he must have had in his mouth. What? You pick up the key? Ah, poor boy, you must have been hungry. Patting dog on the head. Whoa. Okay. I did not expect to get a key out of talking to a dog. That's pretty cool. Um, all right, let's see. Can we, like, look at anything? Um, I don't know which one's the bathhouse. I don't know what that is. Uh, we really need to find a merchant. There's a lot of houses here. I guess we'll just, the majority of this episode will probably, oh, there it is, the bathhouse. Okay, let's just go there, straight off, uh, just to get some sort of idea. Is this dog gonna follow me now? Okay. I don't know what the key's gonna be for, obviously. Oh, that's Vix. Actually, let's go to Vix first. Because I know that we can find a gun here. All right. Oh, we should probably, ooh, I don't know if it's like the other game. Um, but it was a good idea to not have your weapons equipped. So, let's, um, not have anything equipped right now. Okay, so, one of the very few tips that I actually told myself about was that, or actually researched, was that, yes, there is a gun in Vic's house. So, we're gonna find it. We're gonna take it, just so that we have a little ways to protect ourselves. Oh, I wish there was a freaking antidote here. What is this, booze? Don't mind if I do. It's more booze, it's beer. Nuka-Cola? Sure. Um, we're gonna leave the beer for now, but we're gonna take the, the canteens. Deck of tragic cards. Okay. Okay, and we're looking for a gun. Um, it might be in the back here. I didn't tell myself exactly, I didn't research exactly where it would be. Can't loot the boxes. Alright. Uh, we see a wooden door. Probably in the back here, though. Let's take a look. Is it in this shelf? Oh, yes! Okay, and a stim pack. Wonderful. And some bullets. And a... Oh, Vix radio. I don't even know if we should take that. In fact, let's keep it there. Let's save the game. I mean, if it's somebody's radio, you should know that it's missing, right? But we are going to take the... I mean, same thing goes for the gun, of course. Let's take it all. Let's go into... Um, let's take that spear and put it on item number two. Actually, let's get rid of the spear altogether. Let's put the... What is this? Even. A pipe rifle. Okay, and we're gonna load it. Um, we should be able to reload it. Yeah, actually, we should be able to load it from our menu like this. Uh, okay, see these little dots here? I think that's the, that's the ammo. And so I guess it's already loaded. And here we have our differing, uh, differing fire styles. So we can have a targeted. Uh, looks like that's it. So it's a single shot, and we can target with it. Okay, and that's excellent. Let's actually switch the weapon, though, so that we don't anger anybody. Okay, great. That's what I wanted to find. Cool. Now let's go to the bathhouse, which is where Vic should actually be. We're still poisoned, but it's not actually ticking away, which is okay with me. Okay, who do we have here? We have a plump, older woman with a large nose. My name's Sally Dutton, but mostly they call me Big Nose Sally. I'm the owner of this here bathhouse. We have a whole... Hassle full of special attended baths for you to pick from. Uh, what kind of special attended baths do you have here? Special baths that we have available varying costs by the amount of time that the gal spends with you. Oh, I see. And any special services that you take advantage of. You mean that I get to be with a real live girl? Sign me up. Uh, I know that everybody, like, gives a collective groan and eye roll whenever I say this, but, uh, yeah, my characters in video games rarely ever engage in prostitution and drugs. Uh, not because I'm some white knight in real life, just because I find those acts pr very against uh, my personal, what I would do. I don't judge people that do that. Do whatever you want. Me personally, never paid for sex, never will pay for sex, and never have done drugs outside of marijuana, and never will. So, that's just how I play my characters. I'm not virtue signaling. You can do whatever the hell you want, and I'm not going to judge you for it. I promise you. Anyways. I think that the appearance of the attendant better figure into the cost too. Is are we insulting her? I think we're insulting her. <laughs> I don't think I'm ready for this. I better go. I'm sorry that we couldn't help you out. Come back later though. Um, you know, if it's the type of character I'm playing, then sure. Okay, we need to find Vic. Actually, he should be here somewhere. I think. Um, I don't know if it's like kind of illegal or if they're gonna be mad if I go through these doors. Well, let's try it anyways. Okay, we can at least open it. There's a girl in here. You see an attractive but tired young woman. Hello there, mister. My name's Jenny. Looking for a good scrub down. 
Let's see. Actually, I could use a bit of a rub, nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Well, actually, I just had a few questions that I want to ask you if you don't mind. I'm looking for information about a trader of before time stuff. You're interested in traders, huh? Well, I mostly just worked for one trader. Vic was his name. He always had extra money to blow, or at least when he worked, he did. See, he specialized in really old stuff. You know, technical thingies. Tell me more about Vic. Vic was a real sweetheart. He would go off for weeks at a time and then come back with all kinds of before time things. But he often had to travel to the den to sell them. Not much call for that sort of stuff around here. Where's Vic now? I don't, I don't rightly know where Vic is. I know he has a house just down the street from us to the east. He could be out trading with tribals or even in the den for all I know. I hope he's okay. He was getting to be more than just a steady customer to me. I hope he's okay for your sake. Let me ask another question. Uh, tell me about trappers. Well, there's not much to tell about the trappers, really. They are a few... They get a few... Gel uh, ew, God, I cannot talk this episode. <laughs> they get a few gecko pelts or get lucky with a few golden geckos, and then they come in to blow, some blow off some steam quick and not too demanding, just the way I like them. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'm looking for a trader. I already asked her about that. Do you happen to know how to get to the den from here? The den is a hive of scum and villainy southeast of here. I guess about a week or so. Don't remember too clearly. Anyhow, it's an exciting place. Dangerous, but exciting. Sorry to leave it. See, God, sorry to leave there in a way. Okay, so it's southeast of here. So it looks like it's a whole nother place. All right. Um, have you heard of something called a geck? A geck, what's that? Some kind of small gecko, I guess. Sorry, I don't know what else it would be. Okay. Looks like that's about it. I guess that's all I need to know for now. Well, that's, well, it's been nice chatting with you. I better get ready for another customer, though. Goodbye. Goodbye. And who else do we have in here? Uh, let's just... Yeah, this episode is going to be largely exploring... Uh, Klamath. But things will move on a little bit faster. And once I get the hang of how this game works, just like with Fallout 1... Big knows Sally's girls, so she is kind of just a regular NPC, not really talking to us. Oh no, it's the same thing where the companions block the doors. Oh no, they didn't change it. Okay. Well, I don't know how I feel about that, because that was extremely annoying in the first game. Companions would literally stand in, in the doorways of doors and basically not let you leave. Uh, who do we have here? A woman checking you out. Okay. Looks like you could use a wa wow. You, you're gonna get that description. You're actually not gonna have any thing to say, huh? All right. Looks like we're done with the bathhouse, so we can go ahead and leave. But I'd like to find a. Uh, oh my God! This lady is literally blocking. Don't leave. Yeah, there's a lady in the doorway blocking. Oh, it's this kid following me around. All right, let's talk to this kid. Am I bothering you? You see one of Klamath's children. How come you're so funny looking? Because fuck you, that's why. Alright, let's see. Um, Yeah, the see, I can't move now. Now that Dogmeat or whoever this is. Is it actually Dogmeat? I wouldn't be surprised. Dogmeat was in the first game. You see one of the two very similar looking men that could be twins. Both are heavily muscled and have beat. Yeah, we've talked to these guys before. Uh, We have a new thing though, I think. Oh, now tell me something else. Well, I don't care to hear from this guy. He sounds like a jerk. Okay, is there any sort of um, merchant here? There has to be, right? What the hell is this now? A short, swarthy man smiling at you. Hello there, stranger. Welcome to the Golden Gecko Tavern Hotel and Trading Post. Wonderful. I'm Sajak. I run this place. What, what can I get you? I don't know why I can't read this episode, folks. I do apologize. I'd like to buy a round of drinks for the whole bar to introduce myself. Yeah, let's not do that just now. I like to trade. I've got all kinds of things right here, kid. Healing supplies, booze, all kinds of stuff. I've got special sources, you might say. Always willing to look at a good gecko pelt, too. Special sources? Then you should be able to give me a really good price. Well, I don't have prices like this for just anybody. It's not easy to get this stuff from the den. Ah, the den. Okay, we have to remember how trading in this game works, because remember... <laughs> I remember in Fallout 1, everybody was getting on my ass about literally giving my stuff away. And I think we just have to basically place the money on the table as well or something like that. Now, do you have... Please have an antidote, dude. Please. Oh my gosh, he has no antidote. But he does have leather armor. And he does have some bullets. Um, and some stim packs. Some things I definitely want. How much is the leather armor, pal? 456. Okay. 
Well, do we have anything to trade, really? How about a nuka? How about an ice cold glass of nuka? That, that ain't worth shit. What is this? You see Trapper Town key. Oh, all right. Uh, rad scorpion limbs. Don't really have much to trade at the moment. How about a uh, machete? That's pretty cool, right? How about all of them? You can even have two. Okay. Um, and how about this stupid pole? It's not worth anything, really. How about these rad scorpion tails? What do you think about that? All right, we're getting somewhere. Um, geez, I don't think we can even afford that leather armor, even with all that stuff. Yeah, it looks like, uh, yeah, we're, we're not even going to be able to buy the armor, even. Even offering all of these things. So we'll just have to wait. Um, I would like that armor here. You can have that back. And let's talk. Thanks for the help. Goodbye. All right, well, unfortunately, we're poisoned, and I don't really know how to un how to get unpoisoned. Um, and I'm kind of scared to even go off traveling to the den, which it sounds like is where we need to go. Uh, let's explore this place. Maybe it's another trader. Usually, uh, at, at least with the first game, whenever they have a sign like this, it's it's actually like, you know, some sort of merchant or, or something. Let's head inside here. What is this? Do you have some food? No. Looks like just a town, actually. Maybe we should just go to the den, but I have a bad feeling about it, since we're poisoned. Yeah. Oh, well. Let's explore it. Let's get right up to the edge and save the game. You've entered a wooden area. A wooded area. Where the hell am I? Seems like a similar area to where we were protecting the Brahmin, but, to, uh, but different all the same. Okay, I'm not about to go fight a bunch of geckos while I'm poisoned. Okay, so here's the thing. When it's green like this, that means that it's going to go to another section of the town, I believe. But when it's, like, red or something... Although you would think this would be red. No, maybe they're all green in this game. There were two different types of colors in the last one, I swear. Um, I mean, this is where... Yeah, it is red. Okay, so we actually have to go up to the top. Okay. Yeah, let's try to go to... Okay, it was southeast... Oh, this is going to be a bad idea. We have a key to Trapper Town, which I think is good. Oh, it tells us this time. I swear, before, you had to actually find these locations. All right, let's head to the den. We might get a random encounter here. And that's not good, because I don't think we're prepared. Plus, we don't have much um, outdoorsman skill, which apparently is what you need. Oh, there's a random encounter. You were shot and hit for nine points. A group of slavers and slaves. We have some dead mutated rats. So this is what I'm talking about. We might have a very bad, tough little gecko. We might have a very bad situation here. Uh, what do we have? Slave, slave, slaver, slaver, slave, tree. <laughs> that's not who I want. Hopefully, well, and that's a slave too. So basically we have two slavers to take out if we want to live. I almost feel like... We're definitely going to die, though. 23% um, chance to hit these guys. Let's move much closer. I feel like we're definitely going to die. We were hit for 16 points, and we were just decimated. For 41 points. You are yeah. Dead. Your village is lost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, that is the reason, folks, why we save very often. Okay, let's get close to... Don't, don't, don't... Ugh. Okay, maybe we can make it to the den in one fell swoop, and I'm just hoping that once we actually get to the den, nobody's going to kill me. I'm going to switch to the to the weapon now that we're leaving town. I'm going to save the game here. Okay, we're going to try to go to the den in one fell swoop without getting a random encounter. Man, I seriously can't talk this episode. It's been a lot. It's been a long time since that's happened. Um... We're going to try to get to the den in one fell swoop, and just, uh, if we do get a random encounter, hopefully it's not bad. But, we were able to make it. Okay. For some reason, we gained... We took damage from poison, but we're still at... What happened here? Oh my gosh, look at this. What the hell? Look at all these, you take damage from poison. It's ton... And then it's... You feel better. I don't know why it's like that. And then at the end, it says you gained one perception, you gained one perception. I'm assuming that's something running out, or some bad effect running out. This town looks like one mean place, a good place to own a gun, which we do. 
Let's put it away for now, though. Talk to this man here. A Reliant? I need some more bad? Huh? Is this a prostitute? Probably. All right, ladies and gents. Well, we've arrived in the den. We're searching for the Gek. It seems like we need to talk to Vic first and foremost since he sells the before time stuff, i.e. the Gek. So wish me luck. This game is very tough so far. Thanks so much for watching this episode. We'll explore the den in the next one. I'll see you guys there. Bye-bye.